BCM's hunted all over North America. Almost every place you can hunt deer in North America, we've been there, except Canada. Well, this week, our partner, John Burrow of the High Adventure Company is gonna be taking one of his clients and they're gonna be chasing a couple of bruisers. You know, you go to Canada for one reason. You go to Canada to have the opportunity of a deer of a lifetime. Canada's not for everybody. You know, one of the hardest things about hunting in Canada is judging deer. You know, I tell most clients, any 160 class buck anywhere in the world, you better think long and hard about shooting it, whether it's the first day or the last day. His facing you down there. McWhorter Custom Rifles presents I'm John Burrell, the president of the High Adventure Company. You know, we, we managed the Novias for almost 20 years now. This year I had the chance to go look at a new operation in Canada that seemed to be the real deal. Uh, met John Burrell at High Adventure Company on my honeymoon. What do you say about Ashley? I mean, I met the girl on her honeymoon in a bear camp in a tent in Alberta. So in Alberta, we immediately hit it off, and when he let me know about the opportunity that he had in Saskatchewan at a new place he was managing there, I jumped right on it knowing it would be a great hunt. Where are my little baby boys? They don't care about you, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's obvious. They only yeah. care about me. First morning here in Canada, last week of the season. Ooh, what do you we're, think? We're excited. Ready yep. to take big whitetail. Yeah, all our buddies from Atlanta here in Canada, so super excited. I've been hunting whitetail deer for 20 years and never got the chance to get my crosshairs on a big one. The rut is still on the tail end and the deer are still moving pretty good. The bucks are still hot on the does. If you're going, you guys are going to six? Yeah, I'll tell you So just go by six, drop him off at two. Okay. Drop and then turn around and come back and go. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you where to turn. Just follow me. All right. Sounds good. Okay. After arriving at this property, typical super thick Canadian bush, but what really struck me and was very impressive was the, the caliber of the operation. Ron McClendon had first class equipment. Uh, great vehicles, great blinds, everything was just first class and made the hunt very comfortable for everybody. So once we're in the stand the first morning, it was a little foggy. We had to wait a little while for the fog to break. When I got there and realized their stands were fully enclosed, comfortable and heated, it was a great day for me hunting in Saskatchewan. It's been pretty slow, we haven't seen a whole lot for last hour. Canada's not for everybody. It's tough hunting. You generally sit all day, but with the first class blinds, the heaters in the blinds, it made it much easier. But you've got to have realistic expectations when you go to Canada and you really need to know what you're looking for. It's a pretty nice deer though. He just doesn't have a wild factor. Which one? That one. It's a pretty deer. It'll be a pretty deer next year. It's a beautiful deer. So he's only like 15, 16 inside spread. About an hour and a half into the hunt, I get a glimpse of the right deer. The one I had been waiting for for 20 years. He's a beauty. He's good wide. He's kind of short a little bit, but he's 
Rush Country Monsters is brought to you by Bickwater Custom Rifles, the most accurate hunting rifles in the world. Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Safari Club International Foundation, first for wildlife. Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores, over 50 years in Central Texas and we couldn't have stuck around this long if we were steering you wrong. Chupacabra Rub, shake it, rub it, love it. And Surge Pro, the best yield enhancing foliar fertilizer on the market. Rush Country Monsters is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue. Real Texas Barbecue. Swarovski Optique. See the unseen. Burger Bullets. Shoot better. Shoot burger. Heart Rifle Barrels. Unparalleled performance. Handcrafted one at a time. And John Burl's High Adventure Company. The finest collection of big game wing shooting and sport fishing destinations in the world. So now we're on the last day of our hunt, and I'm really getting nervous. What you looking for? Keys. Keys to what? The truck. <laughs> Can't find the truck keys. So we're going to sit all morning, uh, actually all day. We're going to sit all day. We're going in a little late. Can't find the damn truck keys. I did find somebody's glove, though. What's your prediction? He coming this midday or is he gonna come dark? I think it's gonna come around lunch. I think that's a good plan, sleeping in a little bit and then sitting the rest of the day. I do too. So early in day one, we see this absolute giant, but we just catch a glimpse of it. And completely stressed out as a guy that Ashley had just locked in on that deer. Soggy bugger this morning. We go out and we decide to go to the same stand that we had seen him in a few days before. What was really exciting to me was to get to guide Ashley. You know, she's always been after a trophy. She's hunted 20 years, never put her hands on a really big buck, but she, she's hard at it. She hunts all the time. You go to Canada for one reason. You go there to put your hands on the biggest deer of your life. What's out there? Got those, what's that feeling? On this hunt, Ashley's gonna be shooting my personal rifle that I've drug all over the world. It's a 270 Weatherby Magnum McWhorter. It's a tack driver. It's always got Swarovski glass on it. We're down getting close to the wire. It's the next to the last afternoon. We've been sitting all day, haven't seen the buck, and all of a sudden I feel Ashley's excitement go through the roof. Yeah, that's him. She sees the buck coming first. I put my Swarovskis on him. I can tell it's our shooter. And now we're just trying to make a plan to get her in the right position for a shot. I really want to get up on my foot. Okay, let me help again. Go for it. Wait, wait. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I knew that actually I needed to calm her down a little bit before she made the shot on the deer for the last time. So I was really pumped, and JB could tell how pumped I was. So he was trying to calm me down to get the perfect shot at the deer. You okay? You pretty steady? Okay, kill him when you can. As a god, that's the most heart-wrenching moment when you know that she's about to pull the trigger on the deer of her lifetime. hammered him. The monkey <laughs> is off your back now. So while I'm still in shock after the deer hits the ground, I see the excitement with JB as he grabs me and we start screaming that the deer is down. You got him. Okay. That's the one we're after. That was him. It, he deal. came first. Oh, 
tell them we got him. We got him. So we get out of the blind, and, and the shot was a little bit of a poke. It was probably 200 yards. Hey guys, come to the line. Ready? Thanks. Yeah. We make our way down to the deer, and I'm finally able to see him. She was so excited, I was ba basically having to chase her down the trail. Yes. <laughs> Look Sweet. at this deer. Oh my God, Ash, what a deer. Oh, he is beautiful. What a deer. What a deer. Gosh. Amazing. Way Finally. bigger than we thought. Oh, way bigger. Chick, Finally. how exciting was that? So huh? exciting. Finally broke my streak. Yeah, you've had a month in your back for sure. Oh gosh, about 3.30, came out. <sighs> Broadside stood there for just a second. We got him. Yeah, and Chick, you were so excited. Oh, so excited. I'm glad you took your time and got up on your knee and then did this right because this is a deer of a lot. He's Honestly, not Ash, I think this is the biggest white tail from Texas to Canada that I've ever been involved with. I mean, this is a giant. And certainly for me. Absolutely. Certainly for me. So wow. I couldn't be more excited here. Sweet. Absolutely. Oh, amazing. What a pretty deer. Oh, he's beautiful. I think there's a little <laughs> celebration in order. What do you think? We are. Can't wait. <laughs> So this was a hunt of a lifetime for me. After 20 years, I finally got to put my hands on the deer I had been waiting for. I have John Burrell at High Adventure Company to thank for that, and now that I know him, I know it won't be 20 more years before I get my hands on another great whitetail. Brush Country Monsters is brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. Revolution Safe Company, inspired by Pendleton. Rotating gun management made simple. Borden Accuracy, makers of the Rimrock, Alpine, and Timberline custom actions. Swagger, the bipod with moves. And New Breed Archery. No hype, just hunt. So after a big party that night, Matt and Ashley have to leave that next day, so that gives me a day and a half that I can get out and look for a buck of my own. I think we're gonna try number four first, John. I mean, we just saw so many deer there yesterday afternoon, you know, between that 10.30 and, and one o'clock, and then it just kind of died a little bit. It seems like they got a good and active get about three. Yeah. I mean, isn't that what you guys saw too? It was slow for us. We saw some does, but no bucks like you guys were seeing. Yeah. So. We decided to go to a blind that was just north of where Ashley had killed her big deer. Todd had seen a really nice buck in there a couple days before, and we decided we were gonna sit all day. So after sitting, you know, I think it was probably getting close to noon. We see this deer walking through the timber and he's crossing a sendero about 200 yards and I know that if he doesn't stop, I may never see this deer again. John, John, we got, we got a deer right here. He's a shooter too. You can kill that one? Hold on a second, let me get a good look at him. 
Yeah, that's def that's a good management deer right there, John. Yeah, that's a, that's a big deer. Yeah, that's a good deer. Yeah, go ahead and get on him. Just get on him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get a good look at him. You call him. Like no, that's a good deer right there. That's, that's a good management deer right there. That's a deer we need to hear. I need a good deer. Give me your shot. Tell me when you're ready. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. Today we're going to talk about Swarovski's new long range hunter, the X5 and the X5i. We love this scope. It comes in two different power ranges, the 3 to 18 by 50 and the 5 to 25 by 56. Several different reticle options. The BCM team used this one all year. We kill some big animals. Mm -hmm. You'll see them on the shows. Seth, you used the 5 to 25 by 56 this year. Tell me what you thought about these scopes. Alan, I fell in love with it, for sure. You know, Swarovski came out with the X5 and X5i in 2016. It was their introduction into the long range market. It has a lot of unique features, including an exposed turret for windage and elevation, positive clicks for their for dialing, right. a zero set option, as well as a sub-zero feature where you can pull up a collar and dial below zero when you're in different elevations. Really unique, yes. Couple all of that with the low light capabilities of the European glass that Swarovski is known for. It makes it a real contender in the long range market. That's the thing. You very rarely see any kind of long range scope with mm -hmm. these kind of capabilities that you don't lose some light transmission. And this scope's got it all. This is a hunting scope for the hunter, mm -hmm. the long range capabilities. So. You know, we killed some big animals with it this year. We can't wait for the BCM the team to get out this coming year. I'll have one on my gun. Absolutely. So if you're interested in one, give us a call at McWhorter Custom Rifles, and that's your on-target tip of the week brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles. We decided to go to a blind that was just north of where Ashley had killed her big deer. Todd had seen a really nice buck in there a couple days before and we decided we were gonna sit all day. We see this deer walking through the timber and he's crossing a Sendero about 200 yards. John, John, we got, we got a deer right here. He's a shooter too. I get a good look at this deer and the biologist in me immediately kicked in. While this thing was huge, it was not the genetics that we wanna see on this property. Um, very non-typical. Decided this is the deer I was gonna take. Yeah, that's, that, that's a good management deer right there, John. Yeah, that's a, that's a big deer. Yeah, that's a good deer. Yeah, go ahead and get, go ahead and get on him. What Just do you get think, on. man? Hold on, let me get a good look at him. You call it. No, that's a good deer right there. That's, that's a good management deer right there. That's a deer need, we need to... Here, I need a raise. Give, give, give me your shoulder. All right, tell me when you're ready. Go ahead whenever you're ready. Tell me when. Go for it. Luckily, he walked straight across the Sendero, but right before he gets to the brush, he stops and gave me just a split second to shoot. He's down. Man, he came out of nowhere. <laughs> Did you see that? I know. I didn't think he was going to stay around very long either. Out of nowhere. <laughs> he was just going to walk across that Sendero and leave. <laughs> no, that's a good deal. That's a good deal to take out of her. Absolutely. We get out. I got your shelf for you right here, too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No problem. No, that's a great connection. Oh, yeah. Todd Mazurk and I do a lot of work together. He, he knows Western big game and Canada better than anybody I know. So it was great to be in the blind with Todd. While uh, walking up on this deer, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. It's not a big typical, but it was a gorgeous deer. I feel very lucky to have this Saskatchewan giant. Yeah, he's done, man. <laughs> he's done. Good job, man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No. Oh, man. What, what a deer. deer. Wow. God, he's way bigger than I thought. Yeah, that, that's, that's, just, that's just a great Canadian whitetail right there. You know, that's, that's not the deer we saw after when we first got here you right. know, today, but, but uh, this is just one of them deer when you see them, you know, you, you just need to get them out of your herd. I mean, this well, is a great management deer that that, uh, that Ryan would love to have gone as well too, and not spreading his genes, but just what a trophy. Man, no, I mean, I, but look, I, we, you know, I'm sure this is the deer we caught a glimpse of first thing. Yeah. And you know, we were after a beautiful, typical six by six, 170 inch deer, which yeah. would be my biggest whitetail. But you know, we're in this for the long term with Ryan. So, That's right. You know, you got to shoot a deer like this when you see it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's a you trophy know. of a lifetime to me. But you know, these aren't the yeah, genes. Yeah, to anybody. That, 
that we're looking for. And this deer right here, he would have never, he would have never made more than, than what he is, mm -hmm. you know. He's probably always been like this. You know, we don't have any trail camera photos of this deer either. Really, you never seen him? Ne never seen him. Yeah, thank you, thank yeah, you, Yeah, good job. What a week in Canada to get to be with Ashley when she kills a deer of her lifetime, of many lifetimes. I killed a big non-typical, but to see this new operation that I'm very proud to put our name on, um, yeah, looking forward to many years in Saskatchewan. Two great deer for BCM's first Canadian whitetail show. Congratulations, guys. Until next week, always remember, keep God and family first. Yeah, good job.